1989. Nintendo's currently got the lead in the video game industry, and it was also the year they introduced their Game Boy Portable Video Game System. We're all familiar with it, and it, it was a little chunky, I mean, it, it was pretty big, but it was still portable. It took four AA batteries, had a black and white screen, and, you know, it was really, really fun. Had great games, and I know we all remember it. Then Atari tried to get a piece of the portable gaming pie, so what'd they do? They come out with this beast, the Atari Lynx. Uh, this thing is so monstrously huge. I mean, look at it compared to the size of the Game Boy. It's, it's humongous. Uh, apparently, Atari, uh, the facts say that they listened to focus groups who gave the advice of, oh, basically, bigger size is better because it makes them think they're getting more for their money. Uh, no, I, I don't know about these focus group people, but for me, smaller the better. Uh, it's a lot more fun, it's a lot more portable. This took six AA batteries and drained them in about five hours. And this isn't even the original Atari Lynx, okay? This is the Atari Lynx 2, the, revi uh, the revised model. The first one that came out was even bigger. It, even came, it actually came out to, like, here. I'm not kidding. And that drained the batteries even faster. <sighs> well... I'm just getting comfortable in the chair. So, what made the Lynx different from the Game Boy? Well, it had a color screen, obviously a bigger screen, and it was also backlit, hence the batteries being eaten so fast. And yeah, it came out the same year as the Game Boy. It's got some rubber grips on the back going on here. I get, it does make it comfortable to hold. It's nice because it's heavy that they give you the grips. I don't know what these metal tabs are. They pop out and they don't seem to do anything. They don't push in or out or pull or anything like that or move. I don't know. But let's take a look at the game cartridges. I happen to own three Atari Lynx games. Now they are really thin. They're a little bit they're a little bit smaller than the Nintendo Game Boy cartridges. Of course they're a lot thinner. About three Lynx games equals one Game Boy game. There was no saving or anything like that. Some games even have a password feature, but it's like, what's? why would you do that? I mean, if I already have to carry this big thing around to have portable gaming, I'm not going to want to carry around a notepad with me to write down passwords. It, I, I would want to have something, you know, maybe battery back saved. That'd be kind of nice. Okay, I, I mean, this is a bad example because this used passwords as well. But some games, like Super Mario Land 2, you know, saved your games. It was, it was very convenient. Well, let's look at the games. This one's California games. It's got some sport games on it. They kind of camouflage in nicely with the system. Turn it on. Wait for its ridiculously long loading time. Oh, boy. Come on. Pseudo 3D graphics there for you. Come on. So you got these four sports here. We'll just start with BMX. This game I can't figure out. I just hold right to go, and it seems like either pressing A or B makes the guy do some stupid flip in some random direction, I swear. And I don't know. Sometimes you fall, sometimes you don't. I I just can't figure out how to control this. Yeah, next game. We have to turn it off and then back on because there's no reset button. Isn't that nice? Ah, oh, boy. Come on. Oh, check this out. Footbag. Hacky sack. Yeah, I mean, who needs games like Mega Man and Super Mario Land? Forget those games. I could play Hacky Sack the video game. Yeah, extreme hacky sack action. Hours of portable video game fun. Just doing this. All day. Nothing else. Off, away. Next game. Ugh. Next game is. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce this. Quicks or kicks? I don't know. Maybe pronounce it kicks like the cereal. Stick it in there. Turn it on. Deal with loading time. 
It was like having a 3D spinning logo or spinning this way. Was that like the thing of the time? Actually, what I remember, yeah, it pretty much was. Alright. Do one player. This game is from the. Eh, you can call it popular, unpopular, whatever. This is from the genre of draw lines to catch stuff. Oh, see, look at how close I was. That's bullcrap. What's weird is you can't just go away from the side. No, you have to press A to, like, de-latch yourself from the side. It's really stupid. You gotta watch out for that unidentifiable object in the meantime. Come on. Okay. I got 65%. I beat the level. I don't know. Some people might be fond of this game. I just find it incredibly repetitive. Next. Actually, my last... Gates of Zendokan, if that's how you say it. This one's 1989. I'm not gonna bother saying that's the same year as I was born because no one will believe me. Oh boy, this loading time. Oh, look at it. I, oh. See, that was a genuine yawn. That was a genuine yawn. She got easy and hard mode. Let's just start off with easy. Whoa, 3D dude, or something. Wow. Whoa. Oh, he's got diarrhea. Looks like he ate too many eyeballs. Hmm. They got this little cutscene of him going in the ship here. I was just showing that I wasn't pressing anything. <laughs> Alright, so you've got this laser that's constantly firing forward, or every time you press B, you'll get this bolt shoot out and go down. you got this shield, which doesn't seem to do anything. Oh wait, yeah it does. I swear, last time I tried to use that shield, it didn't work. Let's see. So, what, can I just use the shield the whole time? Well, I don't I don't know if it the shield dies out or not. I mean I'm not gonna play this long enough to tell, but if you could play the whole game, just sitting there with the A button. Do 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 just sitting here, do 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 You know what's the point? Come on, really? I mean obviously it looks like you get less points for it, maybe. But look look at that. I don't even have to try. I'm playing with one hand being held down on one button. <sighs> You know what? Let's give it benefit. Let's give it a little benefit here. We'll, we'll try hard mode. See if that's any better. <sighs> Ooh, I was so close to yawning again. I held it in. These games are making me sleepy. Especially that hacky sack game. Are they serious making a hacky sack game? Oh, okay. Moving a little faster, not as boring. And I died. Okay. See, now I don't have my shield because I died. So I could just hold down the B button for the laser. Well, this is still a little pointless. See, you got all these dead spots where nothing's happening. This is sure fun. Okay, so basically, I, I can see how this works. Basically, easy mode, you have to keep holding down the A button. Hard mode, you have to keep holding down the B button. Done. That's enough. Well, that's the Atari Lynx for you. Right now, I feel like taking a nap. But uh, for those of you out there who think that graphics make the game, you know, comparing this to Game Boy, if you think graphics make the game, the Atari Lynx is proof that they don't.